was one thing that's wrong with hip hop today. Too many rappers, not enough MCs. Too many rappers, not enough mother MCs, you dig? Is Ice Spice an MC? Ice Spice is a rapper. What's the difference between an MC and a rapper? A rapper speaks for the money. An MC speaks for the culture. Is Drake, is Drake MC? Drake is a rapper. J. Cole, MC. Kendrick, MC. What about Lil Nas X? He's rapper. Are rappers greedy? Rappers are greedy. MCs are righteous. Greed is a trait of the devil. Mm. MCs are gods. Rappers are the devil. There was a particular tweet I made. Um, and I saw a couple things that um, happened on Twitter. And I wanted to address it as best as I could today. Now, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I felt like it was a good time to bring this up since a lot of shit has been going on recently. So I didn't tend to bother on like hammering things, you know. However, this particular one kind of caught my interest, which was very odd. Um... What I found weird, and well, actually not not weird. Okay, I'm thinking about a different topic when I say that. I'm talking this topic. It's actually a little bit more touching base on things that some particular artists need to understand as far as a graphical view on things, and that is that if you are starting out as an MC, perhaps. You are doing it for the culture, specifically the culture. And you're doing rapping for money. Now, two of these narratives are not that far off. The reason they're not is because People fail to understand the inconvenience of what it's like to have your potential talent start from the mainstream all the way to the bottom. Now, there are certain artists who rise to fame from not being a part of the MC path and then there's certain ones that have reached for the grind and didn't get their music recognized until they hit the prime gap in um, hip hop specifically so in case you guys don't know what the prime um, number is specifically you would have to be close, and I know this for a fact. You would have to be close to almost damn near. And I think I have to remember this quite literally because it changed over time. But generally, your prime your prime career as far as your music is concerned would be damn near close to your age around early to late 20s up to your 30s, depending on who you talk to. That's basically your prime peak. Um, that was gener that was the one generally. Nowadays, I feel like I feel like nowadays the prime that you would normally hit now is like close to late twenties to early thirties. At least from what I saw from the double XL, um, everything else across the board from all the way up to I think twenty tens up until the 2020s that's what i kind of noticed because the gap started changing after a while because even i noticed like for a prime example 2013 the boy logic was 29 by the time he hit the double xl like if that doesn't tell you anything i don't know what does and another one jid was 31 when he literally got into the double xl like i said these guys are literally hitting peak primes at least close to like four years apart. Nowadays, I feel like it's just a little random now, but at least from the generalizing gap, I feel like that's where the prime is like early to late, early to mid, 
mid to late 20s up into your early 30s. That's where the general state is of your prime. Now, the prime will last up until your 50s, per se. So, of course, it once you're, once you're 49, you'll be doing your last years, and then once you hit 50, you're completely out. So, and you're pretty much on retirement duty, a.k.a. Basically, you'll stick around, get some money here and there, and then after that, you'll be fine. But that pretty much sums it up. Now... People fail to understand that when specific rappers are not the same, you kind of have a particular situation where some people don't understand that. And that's perfectly fine. But when you have certain amount of people who specifically go on ahead and say that they're the same, that just goes to show you they don't know what they're talking about <laughs> to a certain degree. Like, the generalizing might be the same. Don't get me wrong. The generalizing might be the same. But when you're literally doing this specific art for the culture, your chances of having a legacy as a hip-hop artist, especially a rapper, will exponentially raise your status to an all-time high. But if you're just a rapper for the money you would more than likely drop. And you might choose a different path, but you're no longer in that conversation where you want to make a legacy for yourself. Now, granted, it's up to what your path is if you want to make a legacy. Because, for example, I say Koi and I'll say Lotto. Those two, maybe, in if anything, they believe that they want to spread their talent and have a legacy in a different way. And truly, I respect that 100%. Because even as R&B artists, even as anybody, musicians, singers, anything across the board, they are allowed to have that talent and make a completely different path that they want to go on. However... If your legacy is based on what the genre that you want to perform on, you want to make a legacy based on that, then you have to do so on that accord. If that is what you are willing to make. And sometimes, some people say these things and then change their path in the course of their career. And hey, I don't have a problem with that. But just know... I don't want to see your fans saying crazy shit online because it just goes to show you that if you're a fan of them, say that's your opinion. Don't literally make an opinion your fact because that is not only flawed, but you're literally putting too many holes in and people can just poke through. They'll poke through those fucking things like a goddamn uh, that fucking bubble wrap. They'll pop that shit right through and watch as that hole comes through and there's way too many things that will not fucking save you from defending that particular thing that you said was not only your opinion, but also you ought to claim as a fact. Now, when somebody literally goes on ahead and do these things, music is all about the specific talent and it's also about the decisions you make. Because at certain points, you might have dedication on certain things. You want to make tributes to certain people. You want to actually do certain things that you want to be inspired by. Whenever that be the case, that should not literally stop you from anything. However, what I hate is the fact that there's certain people that goes out here and tries to act like when they don't get caught, they immediately go on ahead and try to lie about it. Like, what's the point? You know you've screwed up, so you're just going to sit there and lie just to protect your reputation? <sighs> Which is why I said before, like, from the earlier one, you see why I said, like, Cardi B's situation is just complicated because at certain points, you know that you aren't that 
good of an artist you are at least at best below average to average you would more than likely have to be very mindful on how you do things because the reason i say she's below average to average is because i say this before i'll say this again there's no way that you have that lyrical ability to switch it up from not only below average to directly to above average and i've seen it before that quickly within the span of a fucking year i don't believe that bullshit especially two to three years that's why i just said like i don't believe that particular um nonsense because that type of study takes time definitely more than a fucking year like what I, like I, I know you're not stupid enough to not know that that's why i'm like i'm so conflicted and very confused on why she thought that would be the case but nevertheless back on topic in order for you to set yourself up on something like this, these things take time. And when they do, you cannot, and I repeat this right now, you cannot expect yourself to literally go on ahead and lie to people. It's good to like sit there and then just admit the fact that you lied about it, sure. But to say that None of it was true and all that stuff. When I can literally analyze your shit. And when I do. I can recognize every fucking pattern of your goddamn lyrics. Knowing that this particular artist sounds like this particular artist. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to fucking do that. And not only that. I even had to, like, sample some of the fucking music that you basically put up and when you did do that you went on directly to sound like the one specific artist that i mentioned earlier that's why i just don't like when people just sit there and lie but here we are <laughs> 